previously on Daisy of Love. He's my best friend and he's an awesome person. Oh, I'm a little jealous of Sinister. That was kind of cool. It sucks for me right now. I don't want to see my best friend kissing Daisy. Nice to see you. I feel like Chi Chi might be trying to make the other guys a little jealous. I would definitely like for you to stay in this house. I'm definitely going to make the most of my second chance. I'm going to be taking it up a notch. <laughs> Go with London. This is my chance to erase that first impression. Do you think you're right for me? When I kissed you the first time, mm -hmm. I felt something there. London makes me really nervous. But you know what? I'm here to find love, and that guy could be London. I got something to say. I'm still in love with my ex-girlfriend. I'm throwing in the towel. Well, thank you for wasting my time. I'm, I'm just not that dude, man. I, I'm, I'm a laid-back guy. Like, I don't... You can leave. I'm sorry. I'm sick of guys trying to take advantage of me or lying to me. I'm done. Wait, I need I need a second record. I'm sorry. He loves me. He loves me not. I think today's gonna be a good day. Today's a new day. We've got from 12 people down to nine, and hopefully all the quitters are out of here. I'm still trying to think of what that flat iron is doing for your hair, man. What do you mean? It looks the same when you roll out of bed, man. <laughs> you know, I like that maybe people underestimate me a little bit. I'm definitely feeling something between me and Daisy. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm looking forward to spending more time with her and getting to know her better. I'd say at this point, Chi Chi's definitely a little ahead of me. It makes me jealous a little bit to feel that they would have a connection. And now I'm realizing that things are gonna get a little tough between the two of us. You gotta make that face and you do the <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> All right, guys, come out to the living room. Walking into the living room, there's a whole bunch of equipment. I've been dying to see music equipment since I've been here. I definitely would like to have a musical challenge. Hello, my sexy boys. Hello. What's happening? I think that it's pretty obvious that I like rock stars. Well, today we're going to separate the guys that can rock from the ones that are just all talk. You guys are going to be playing live for us. I've never even touched a guitar or a drum set or, or sang or anything like that, so I mean, this is not my forte at all. I'm not feeling confident about it. You are going to be creating songs that are based on some of the songs that Daisy used to listen to when she was younger. As in nursery rhyme. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I decided it would be fun if these guys took some of my favorite songs from when I was a kid and turned them into the badass rock and roll songs. This challenge is all about how hard you rock and also how hot you look doing it. So. If you guys actually make some music that I would actually listen to, then you will be winning a date with me. You are going to be broken up into teams of three. We've got two hours before you perform your songs live at the world famous Knitting Factory. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be playing at the Knitting Factory in LA, which is great. You know, I've played the Knitting Factory in New York before. Cool venue, so I'm excited. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the team captains. Six gauge. London and Sinister, you guys are all the band leaders. So to make things fair, I took the three guys that are in bands back home and put them all on separate teams. I'm gonna hand you your guys' CDs. Now let's take turns picking band members. London says he's a musician, but there's a difference between getting paid for what you do and doing what you do in a garage with your buddies. Six Gage, we will start off with you. Pick wisely. Big rig. <laughs> London, you are next. I'll pick Cage. Nice. Because you heard me singing in the shower. So I heard you singing in the okay. shower. Yeah. Okay, Sinister. I write songs, I sing, and I play guitar. I know my best friend, Sinister, is going to pick me. I heard a uh, 12 pack can play drums a little bit, so I'm going to pick him. What the f Well, okay. Sinister doesn't pick Chi Chi, and I'm surprised. I mean, I thought they were besties. Very interesting. Chi Chi ain't the greatest drummer. So I'm gonna do anything that I can to win. Six gauge. Flex. I'm taking big rig, and I'm taking flex, and we're gonna win that date. London. Um, sorry, Sinister, but uh, Chi Chi. Welcome to the winning team. So uh, Sinister 
doesn't pick me. My feelings were definitely hurt. I'm gonna give 100% and I'm gonna show him why he should have picked me for his team. That leaves Fox with Sinister. I get stuck with Fox. Fox isn't exactly the sharpest pencil in the box, but I can work with him. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Sinister unfortunately picks me, knowing the fact that he had no more to choose from. In true rock star fashion, the limo is gonna pick you up in two hours. Break a leg! All right. All right, guys. You want me to play it? All right. All right, check it out. We get the song, Old MacDonald. All right, stop it. We gotta make this sound cool somehow. You gotta play that? We had to do a version of row, row, row your boat. So my goal with my team was basically like, hey, let's, let's bring the passion, let's do it raw. Yeah, something like that. I'm, I'm gonna play that one actually, to tell you the truth. I don't even know the words to this song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star will rock Daisy's socks off tonight. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> what am I gonna do, dude? Pick your bass up. I'm gonna throw him a bass, teach him how to play real fast. 12 pack plays drums a little bit. And uh, I start conducting Old McDonald <laughs> in a new punk rock form. Daisy, Daisy, you're my flower. Where does that fit in? I think at his point, he's just gotta look good, and that'll be pretty much his part of this band. I think we got a good team right here, bro. Yeah. We got a good team. Right now, we have here, the advantage. Let me hear that. Dude, they're good, dude. They are. Sinister knows what he's doing on the stage, and um, that's why he didn't pick me. He knows he's gonna win this competition, and kind of sucks for me right now. Daisy, Daisy, my soul. Daisy. Practice sucks. We can't keep a beat. We don't know how to play the instruments. We're up. We're dropping our music. I don't know how this is gonna go well. We're the underdogs here. I just want to let you guys know that because yeah. everybody has somebody that's in a band. And I know that you sing a little bit, and uh, I don't, and neither do you, so we need to make this work. <laughs> Since we're not rock stars, we might as well use what we have to our abilities. We should do that. We should just not wear a so yeah. we draw tattoos and all over ourselves. I'll wear like a bandana or something and that's it. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear I'm gonna have, we, may, we may get in trouble for that one. Man, I'm so excited, because at this point, we just throw a couple curveballs in, and I got, uh, I got something coming for him. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. The rock stars are in the building! Coming up. Oh my god! <laughs> Well, Pat can play drums. And later... Dad! We're good, man, we're good. London is all upset, he's running all over the house. I'm pack my up, man, I'm going home. I'm sick of it, go home. So we arrived to the knitting factory for our challenge. We gotta rock out to lullabies. I'm not a rock star, but you know what? I'm gonna rock that lullaby. Hey guys, welcome to the world famous knitting factory right here in Hollywood. Oh my God, I can't even have a heart attack right now. I was a little nervous that these guys would be wimps about the situation, but they seem pretty gun ho and they're looking pretty hot. Well, I mean, most of them are anyways. Looking forward to a little bit of live entertainment tonight. Of course, I am going to be one of the judges. Daisy is going to be one of the judges. But we've also got a very special guest. She not only knows a lot about the music biz, she is also one of Daisy's best friends. Taylor, come on out. Hi, boys. Calm down, guys. Don't get too excited. Taylor's dad is the guitar player for the Steve Miller Band, and she's been around rock stars her whole life. If you guys don't impress me, I'll make sure to let Daisy know this sexy girl is my best friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, here's the deal. We're gonna be judging you by performance, image, and the way you look. 
I want to hear what you guys have got. It's time to impress. Just remember one thing. This challenge is about winning a date with me. Yeah. Yes! Six Gage, your band is up first. Woo! My initial reaction is I don't want to go up first and suck, but I know that with our looks, we're definitely going to take this challenge home. We're Chip and Daisy, and our song was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Oh, wow! Yeah, yeah! Cute glitter, guys. Yeah, nice one, guys. I feel like I am in a transsexual biker bar with all the makeup and crap these guys are wearing. Wait, where's Big Ray? Oh. You're gonna rock with Daisy. You gotta put on a show. Balls to the wall, literally. Are you being serious? I told you he wasn't wearing underwear. Um, Big Rig has a guitar in front of his Big Rig. Big Rig is leaning back, and his ball sack's hanging out the bottom of his bass. I didn't know if his hands were playing it or his balls were playing it. and starts shaking his banana hammock like I've never seen anyone shake their banana hammock before. <laughs> that is the dirtiest rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star I have ever heard. Yeah. That's how you do it! That was a little scandalous. All right, London. All right. Your band is up next. It's all for you, baby doll. OK, Daisy, this song is for Row, 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 Your Boat. Oh. And we are called, since you like razor blades, we're called the Daisy Blades. Um, what the hell is that about? Like, I need to shave my legs or something? I wax those bitches, thank you. Kind of weird. <laughs> oh! What? So obviously, I've always been attracted to musicians and London. I just want to make out with him. I actually really, really like that song, and I would totally jam out to it on the radio. Their version of the song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, should have row, row, rowed their ass out of the knitting factory. That didn't work out quite the way I expected. I definitely got a little crazy. I was trying to like hit the cymbal with the guitar and just, you know. Um, that's why I'm allowed to play guitar in my band. All right, Sinister, your band's up next. Uh, we are Daisy Train. Uh, this song is called the E I E I O song. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, McDonald. Oh, McDonald. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. There's no way we can't win this date. I think if Fox just leaves the bass off and makes pretend he's playing it, we'll be fine. One, two, three, four. is looking amazing on guitar. 12-pack can play drums? Wow! And box? Well, he has good hair. We got up there, we rocked the song perfect, and there it was. I got my eye on the prize. All right, guys, after seeing all the bands play, I can honestly say that you were all loud. <laughs> Six Gage, I love, love the fact that you guys took your time to wear makeup and really do something unique, like get naked. While I appreciate what they're trying to do, Chip and Daisy looks like a bunch of kids that got in their mom's makeup kit. Not cute.
But that gives me an idea, and these guys clearly need my help. Besides, what's the point of having boy toys if you never get to toy with them? I think the only team that even sounded like they were doing the nursery rhyme was Sinister's team. With the theme, Sinister's band did follow the theme correctly, the most correct. Definitely. Personally, I think they all suck. But considering there's only one band that can actually carry a tune, I think we all know who the winner is. I'm gonna have to go with London scene. Yes! 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 I hate London. I haven't even been on a date yet. You've got to be kidding. So I decided to pick Daisy Blades as the winner because I'm a romantic, passionate, feeling person. And then there's London. Dude, he brought a part of himself into that song, and right now, I definitely think London is my rock and roll dream. Mm, thank yes. God, dude, thank you so much. If I knew the challenge was just about jumping around and looking like an idiot, and just going like this and trying to look cool, maybe I would have done that. All right, thank you, thank you. Thanks thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Daisy. Oh my gosh. This is my third date. I've won every date. I'm on top of the world right now. This is awesome. My boy Sinister, I feel bad for him but he should have picked me for his team. You guys that are the winners, Chi Chi, Cage, and London, I want you to grab your stuff, and we are all gonna go to Gibson's showroom and have a romantic time. Yes, yes. I'm psyched. I'm going on my, my third date now. I'm gonna be a target now. There's gonna be some guys who are a little jealous and everything. So, let's go. <laughs> really kind of pisses me off to know that this other band that dropped their drumsticks and fell on the floor ends up getting treated like royalty. Come on, man. Coming up. As far as my mom, she told me she's gonna go, you know, for a dry ride, and she went through the windshield, and the car flipped over on top of her. It definitely means a lot for me to share something that powerful. I'm so glad I got to learn more about you. And later, it seems like it's got a problem with me. London definitely blew things out of proportion. I hope you find somebody who treats you really well. I don't even understand where this all even came from. Pack my up and let me go home. Cheers. We are so excited. We get to go on a Gibson tour bus and have some fun with Daisy. There's uh, Gibson guitars hanging. I cannot wait to get in there and just get some alone time with her. Cheers. 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 London, you're finished already? I know. What? No. Okay, we don't need to, we don't need to yeah, go in that yeah. direction. That's, that's the last thing in the world I want to do. I'm really worried about how much London drinks. <laughs> Beverly Hills-ish. Last time I was here, I woke up in someone's neighborhood in my car with no idea how I got there. Really? That seems to be a reoccurring theme with you. You know, most of the ride on the bus, like, I kind of get this, like, weird vibe from her. I'm in a rock and roll, but I hang out with rock and roll musicians. Like, my life is not, like, just, like, you know, sitting you, around, is like... Is that where you, who you live with? I live with, like, right now, like, I'm kind of... Right now, I'm kind of, uh, I hate to say this, but I'm good. I guess I'm kind of homeless, like, I get... Uh, You're homeless? I'm not homeless homeless. I'm couch surfing at the moment. It, it happened like uh, a few days before I came here. Why? I'm not really homeless. I'm just, you know, I left, I, I moved out. I was, you know, I, I was kind of kicked out of my house before I left. My father got hooked on pain pills. It got bad and, uh, you know, he basically called called the cops and pretended like I attacked him. The cops were like, yo, you know, if he wants you out, you got to be out. That definitely sucks. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. And right there, like, I started kind of turning a little sour. They're like, wait a second, like, do you want to hear about me or not? Like, you know, so that kind of bothered me. It, it upset me, you know? But, you know, I bit my tongue because, you know, I'm not that sensitive. I've got thick skin. Like, I don't just, like, you know, get pissed off at any little thing, you know? I think we are getting ready to go rock out of the car. So let's go yeah, rock out of the car. All right. I personally had the Gibson showroom oh, shut down for wow. you guys. Wow. The Gibson showroom is basically a museum for all these instruments, that awesome, famous musicians have played. There's crazy pianos, amazing guitars. It's like a dream come true. Because you guys were such amazing rockers, me and Gibson wanted to give you the Epiphone Les Paul Ultra Guitar. So, go ahead. Get, get All yours. Us? For you, to keep. Totally no for you. No way. Yes. Wow. I, I, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I sold my guitar off to, you know, pay some bills. And uh, I haven't had a guitar since. I've been borrowing a friends here and there. So that was a great gift. I'm not trying to get super emotional, but like, I seriously, like, I sold my guitar and now I have a guitar again. I'm a little emotional at the moment. So thank you so much. Well, don't cry. I'm not crying. I didn't cry. I don't cry. 
Don't boys. cry, cry baby. Bad boys don't cry. A musician without his guitar is basically like a blonde without her bleach. And I am so glad I could fix that. So I want to play piano. All right. I just kind of improv on it a little bit, like. Well, I'm a fairly talented guy. I'm good at a lot of things I do. Wow. <sighs> this is a competition, and uh, I hope to have the biggest connection with Daisy than anybody in the house. You smell good. Thanks, sweetheart. You feel so good. And I'm just wondering, why do I have to compete against these guys? That's what's confusing me right now. Oh, no. I'm to get a little jealous here. Yeah, I know, right? Like, what's been going on with you and Sinister? Everything's cool, but I can tell he looks at me different and it kind of sucks. I know that Sinister and Chi Chi are bromates, so when I'm with one, I'm pretty sure that it bothers the other. This was his, like, dream to come out here for you. And now he sees me making a connection and, um, he's pretty sad about that. I don't want to come in between anybody and their friendship. Honestly, he's my best friend, and I wish him the best of luck, but I'm here because of you, you know? I do not want to be responsible for tearing two long-term friends apart, so this could definitely be a problem. A cheers yeah. to you guys. For cheers. Definitely stepping it up and being my rock stars. I want to get to know you, you, and you, and if you, you, and you fit, or you and you don't fit. I want you to pick me. Like, I want to win you over, right? But I got two guys here at the moment who I know actually care. You know what I really want to do right now? I haven't spent a lot of time with Cage. Yeah. So if you guys don't mind Cage, please come with me. I'd love to, thank you. I decided I wanted to take Cage for some alone time. This is our first date, so I want to get to know him better. She seems like she's kind of like, just got a problem with me. I don't know where I went wrong, I'll have to figure it out later. Just be positive. Just let that go. I'm real worried. Daisy's just having fun, and um, London definitely blew things out of proportion. Well, I thought we had a lot in common, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You never you never think you have girls figured out, because, well, three dates in now, she's gotten a chance to know me, and if we're having a flat moment, maybe that's because we're just not connecting. Someone doesn't listen to you when you talk about yourself. Yeah. They don't care about you. I want to know more about you. My, my life and my past is so extreme and intense, you know what I mean? If there's anyone that's going to understand, it's me. As far as my dad goes, I was like nine months old, I think, and I was crying, and so he threw me against the wall. My mom left him. As far as my mom goes, she had a drinking problem, and she told me she was going to go, you know, for a dry ride, and, you know, I thought she was just going to go pass out in the car, and she just got the car, and she drove off, and she went through the windshield, and the car flipped over on top of her right down the street. And then after that, uh, you know, I lived on the street for a while, and in and out of trash cans, and uh, I pretty much fought in alleys for money um, for a while. And then uh, somebody discovered me, and I started, you know, fighting professionally, and you know, now I, I, I'm here where I'm at now. He really opened up to me, and I was touched. I just think that he needs love, and I'm willing to give him love and show him that. I'm sorry, and you're an amazing person. Okay? It definitely means a lot for me to share something that, that powerful and important about, about me. I just wanted Daisy to see the good in me. Far away, as far as I can go. How was your date, brother? A very, very good date. Nice. Very good. Unfortunately, it's time to head back. Someone's going to not show me like any kind of degree of respect after I've been working hard to like you know show them like a side of me to show them that I'm I'm here for them. If you're not paying attention to me, then like you know this whatever. Let's freaking rock! Let's go. <laughs> that was a treat. Cheers. Is there something you want to tell me that you... I'm just going to say one thing real quick. You can say what you think, whatever you want about it, but honestly, you gave me an attitude the whole time. Everyone in this car picked up on it. You picked me to be your target. You gave me an attitude the whole time before we got there. Real guy Did to you. Did you see that? Doesn't Did matter. you? I just came here because I wanted, like, you know, to see what would happen. You know? And, and, and maybe this is what happens. And, like, maybe I'm not supposed to, you know, it's the wrong situation for me. I don't even understand where this all even came from. London starts going crazy and yelling at Daisy, getting himself pissed over nothing. But you've been giving me, give me an attitude. That's fine. If you don't like me, send me home. 
how could you be so selfish and complain about stupid stuff, you know? Pack my up and let me go home. No, seriously. If that's what you want to do, I will go down and pack for you. How about that? That's fine. Okay. He's pissing me off, and I'm pissing him off, and it's just getting worse and worse. I'm so sick and tired of guys deciding they don't want to be here. Let me home. This limo ride sucks. Me and London are already having our first fight. I'm sitting around the house all bummed out that I didn't get to go on a date. And then when the guys finally come through the door, I hear that London's ready to pack his bags, Daisy's up in the room crying. We gotta get London right out of this place. Yeah. Coming up. I wanted to send Team Chip and Daisy to get a makeover. And later, instead of staying home and figuring out my life, I came here for you. And going back to like something, I don't know what's gonna happen when I go back home. I don't think that we would be having drama if we both didn't care. Man, I can't do it this way. Sorry, dude, I'm done. London comes in, he's throwing stuff around, he's screaming at, you know, the camera people. Just get the camera out of my face, man. Pushing him out of the way, saying he doesn't want to be around anybody. He's packing his bags, he's going home. I'm thinking, great. Pack my up, man, I'm going no, home. dude, we don't need no, to. No, I'm going home, dude. And I'm not gonna do it for the cameras either, man. I know, man. So, Blue, look at me. <laughs> Pop it, woo, look. Look at me go. Hey, hey, outside, smoke a stone. Come yeah, outside, outside, dude. dude. You know what? I'm ready for this guy to go home. I'm sick of it. You don't want to be here. You want to pack your bags. Get all emotional. Go home. I ain't gonna win by like this guy's a. This guy's a. That's not me, man. That. Now I'm not gonna play the game, dude. London's talking and he's flipping out. I'm like you can't say that to me. You can't embarrass me now. You're not gonna embarrass me. And I'm like London, bro, settle down. You're not all that great. My name is Joshua Lee. Do you know that? I'm Joshua Lee. I'm a real person, man. My name is T.J. Markowitz. I am a real person. I need to talk to you, London. Come with me. It made me feel a lot better when Daisy came to get me. I wanted to say my piece. If you don't stand for like something, you don't stand for anything, right? I don't want you to go home. Don't you get that? No, I don't. Because tonight, like, like, it wasn't like, you know, you acted like you wanted me there. And when I talk about, like, not having a place to go back to at the end of this, I can afford to get a place when I go back. You know, I'm sacrificing right now for you, you know? I know London's sensitive. I know London's like me. That's why I feel like we connect so much. I don't think that we would be having drama if we both didn't care. I went from, like, being the guy who passed on the floor that you were ready to cut he was like, you need to step it up. And I've been on the last three dates. I went from like nothing and being the up to like really like doing everything I could to show you, you know? I was like, wow, like I like this girl. Like she's cool. I like like there's something special you, about her. No, no, like for real. It's her mind, like, you know? I don't know what it is about London, but pretty much all I want to do is make out with him. Can I kiss you? I have a kiss. Pretty much all of his in this house. And your kiss is definitely the best. Okay. I do not want to be in this room by myself crying over you. But, but. I know you need to make it hurt. Okay. Eyes hurt. How's your face feel, man? <laughs> Fine. Looks like someone ran you over with a truck, dude. I see your mouth moving, but I just can't quite make out the words. So today's a new day. We all wake up. The London thing's blown over a little bit. Mm. There she is. Oh, hot damn. Morning. Hello. You all did a freaking fantastic job. All were awesome. I wanted to send some of you with Ricky today. Team Chip and Daisy. You guys are going to channel your inner rock star and get a makeover. The rest of you guys, we will all be hanging out today. I came here for a makeover, that's what I came here for. <laughs> Ricky and Daisy tell us that we're gonna go and have a little makeover. I don't know what's gonna happen at this one. I will see you guys later. Yesterday at the challenge, Chip and Daisy's tried really hard to give themselves a rock and roll makeover, but 
it went horribly wrong. So I decided to have Ricky take the boys over to Floyd's 99 to have a real rock and roll makeover. Okay, come on, we're playing Truth or Dare, so let's go. I wanna play Truth or Dare because I wanna see how everyone's feeling, what they're willing to do, and what they're willing to say. Oh, well, I've never really played Truth or Dare with like six other guys, so I don't know what's gonna happen really. Who wants to go first? Chi Chi, Truth or Dare, first of all. Truth. Who do you think's gonna go first between you and Sinister? Oh, wow, that's spicy. I think Daisy would choose Sinister to stay over me. Why would you say so? Why would you think that? I don't know, I just, I just look up to Sinister. He's like the best musician and your guys' lifestyles are so alike. And um, I just think that if it was down to me, you and him, that you'd pick him over me. What does this mean? Does Chi Chi think Sinister is better for me than him? Okay. I wasn't complimented at all when Chi Chi thinks that I'm gonna be here longer than him. It's kind of a sympathy move, and I'm not sure that I thought it was too cool. So uh, we're pulling up in the limo with Ricky, and a look, and it looks like a garage, and uh, seems like there's some pretty interesting people working there. We arrived at Floyd's 99. I see some of the hairdressers and stuff, and it looks like a lot of punk rock going on. So I sit down, and I have no clue what's about to happen. Hey, cheers to the new uh, girls we're gonna look like after this is done. Oh my goodness. Wait, I dare, I dare you, I dare Cajun 12 pack to arm wrestle. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Whoever wins, I'll kiss them. Hey, Come on, Chase. The you can lock them. One, two, on. three, let's go. Hey. Oh. I see that there's a difference between when Daisy kisses like Flex or Sinister and when she kisses me or 12 Pack. She's not trying to pull away. You know, I can see it. That's why I get jealous when 12 Pack does. Um, okay, London. Truth or dare? There it is, Luke. Uh, truth. Mm -hmm. Why did your dad kick you out of the house? If she had just listened to me on the bus when I was explaining kind of my situation, she would have known that when I had to ask me. I can't tell you why he kicked me out. I can't. Okay. 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 So like, where are you living now then? Why do I have to discuss that again? Like it's a personal issue that is upsetting to me and bring it up in front of everybody like I did something wrong. So that right there was just, that was the moment. I was like, obviously we're not connecting anymore. All right, I'll tell you what, um, time for me to go. Whatever. Coming up. What's next, guy? Sorry. <laughs> she's got my chain, and she's having a hard time, you know, saying what she wants to say. London. Come in. Hey there. You look wonderful again. Before elimination, I always want to spend time with Ricky so he can help me make the best decision or at least try to help me make the best decision. Last night I didn't even hear about the date, I didn't hear about any stuff. I started feeling this ride from London, like we got in a huge screaming fight. You in London? He basically was like, I wanna leave. I told him that I don't want him to leave because I have feelings for him. I am so torn up about London. I really, really like this dude. Everything about him screams Daisy. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I don't want him to stay. You know why, Daisy? Because I see that you're hurt right now, and I see that you already got in the fight. Let me tell you something, when you're in a relationship and you start getting little fights, it doesn't start like that and then everything is better. London is the typical loser, struggling rock star guy, can't get in a relationship, is scared of commitment. This is the type of guy that I'm really trying to keep Daisy away from. I see a lot of guys that are bending over backwards to spend any time with you at all. When I'm with him though, it's like a connection and it's like amazing. Why am I here? Because I, I don't want to see you get hurt. And I see you getting hurt and I see you leading towards a situation that you're about to get hurt. He passed out the first night. He wasn't <laughs> there for you the first night. The first night, Daisy, he was passed out the entire night. Personally, I thought he should have been gone that first night. But you know what? I stood aside and I said, all right, she really digs him. I really felt the first time ever I strongly disagree with Ricky. 
Before elimination, I really have to talk to London one more time. London, I need to talk to you. I had a talk with Ricky, and he is very, very concerned. Ricky can say whatever he wants about me, but like, I'm not a liar, I'm not a fake person. Ricky's concern was that he sees how much I like you and how we're already fighting or whatever and having all this drama. I'm really torn um, about, you know, wanting to leave and wanting to stay. Like, I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I would just end up hurting her. Maybe she'd end up hurting me. Like, he's your friend, he's looking out for you. I think you got a house full of people that, for the most part, like, you know, I really, that all care. I want you to find the right guy. All I want to know from London right now is that he wants to be here. Well, I'm going to offer you a chain tonight, and I hope that you take it. Okay. And let him know that I want him here. She said that she wanted to give me a chain, and she asked me to accept it. So, you know, I'm just like, I'm incredibly confused. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hey, it's Daisy. Log on to daisyoflove.vh1.com. Check out all the insanity you didn't get to see. I didn't win the challenge. That was a music challenge. Daisy's favoring a guy who wants to leave, and I'm starting to have a little problem with Chi Chi, but... Wow. What an embarrassing makeover. Right when I seen Big Rig's hair, I was like, whoa, that's kind of spicy. You never want to see a guy that big with nipple rings wearing a shirt like that. I was scared for my life. Wow. <laughs> Daisy walks in, and the first thing she notices is my new rock star makeover and how I look like a sideshow clown. <laughs> Holy Yet, she kind of digs it. Flex, Big Rig, and Six Cage. The fact that you guys did that and were good sports about it. So I sent my boys off for a super Barbie dream rock and roll makeover, and they all look super cute. Okay, they all look really silly, but at least they're all good sports about it. <laughs> did I miss something funny? I'm digging it, I like it. You know, it's kind of me, you know? This first person that I want to give a chain to has opened up to me so much and showed me that he's really down for me. Ha, I'm getting a first chain, and some people are going home, and that just means I am closer to my final destination. So I want this first chain to go to Cage. Wow. You are a beautiful person. So, would you please stay in this house and be my rock star? Of course. Thank you. Course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I got the first chain. I made a huge connection with her during the date. So, I mean, I definitely feel like I do deserve it. Chi Chi? Thank you so much. I'm absolutely starting to feel a little bit of jealousy. I, I don't really know what those two got going on yet, but uh, it's gotta be something, I guess. This next chain is to someone who showed me a very different side of himself during the rock and roll challenge, and it was hot. Maybe the naked thing went good for me, but I know I'm getting my chain, baby. 12 pack. Are you serious? Every day that you're here, I begin to trust you more and more. So, would you be my rock star? Mm, put it on me. <laughs> if I don't get a chain, I'm gonna freak out. Flex. Would you like to stay in this house and be my rock star? Of course. Awesome. I'm glad I got a chain. But to come after 12-pack, oh my gosh, what a kick in the ass. Big Rig, I would love for you to stay in this house and be my rock star. I would love to be your rock star. <laughs> Thank you. I'm extremely nervous. I don't know where I'm standing at with Daisy at this point, and um, I have a feeling I'm going home. What's next? Guy? Sorry. <laughs> London. I know that Ricky's got some concerns about me being maybe the same kind of guy that you fell for before. And there's a part of me that says, like, I am that kind of guy. 
I'm looking at her and I'm feeling really bad. I don't want to hurt her. And I'm not trying to be an ass to anybody or hurt anybody. She's asking me to take the, you know, the chain. I just, I, I can't take it. Daisy, I'm sorry. I really just don't know what he's thinking and I don't know what to do. And to hear him say that he wants to leave really pisses me off. I want you to stay in this house. I'm not gonna that. fake it to you, I can't. <laughs> in the beginning, like especially, like it shouldn't be that hard. You shouldn't have to like fight as hard. You shouldn't have to fight with each other. I'm just trying to be honest. And, and, and Ricky, I'm not trying to hurt you. Seriously, this is the most respect I have ever had for you, okay? <laughs> when London tells me that he wants to leave, it makes me feel that he's leaving because I'm not good enough. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> You gotta let I don't know. You guys, I wish you all the best, man. So what? I'm happy to see London go home. I'm still here. You know, nothing's ever 100%, but I said right now I'm like 95% sure that I'm making the right decision. But maybe one day it'll be a different story, and uh, you know, I'll be able to, to write you that song. I, I promise you that you're gonna get over this, and I promise you that you're gonna say this is the right thing. Trust me on this one, okay? Continuing on with the rest of these guys right now, it just terrifies me. I don't really know if I can handle it. <laughs> Daisy runs off, and we're just kind of standing there waiting to see what happens next, because I haven't got my chain, and there's a couple other guys that haven't either. Next time. I was trying to sleep and the guys were talking and I was getting aggravated. All I'm saying is right now is not the best time to pick a fight with me. Now is not the time to me. Everyone's pissed at London, but it's time to move on. I love photo shoots. Take your shirt off for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. I am just making out with Daisy in front of everybody. I'm tired of looking at this. Down in the south, I run across a couple of skunks. No! Give me the garbage can. Oh! That is a horrible stench. Where'd it get you? There's too many people in here. No! What's up, six gate? <laughs> Keep talking, dude. This guy is trashed. Hey, he is out of control. Man, can you feel that? He needs to go home tonight. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yo, no. <laughs> I will take this. <laughs> Give me this, <laughs> you bitch. Oh, you oh my gosh. Rawr! Rawr! I'm gonna ankle lock the. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. I'm gonna kill you. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Fox is tapped out too. Hey, I'm kicking you out of the house. Those, I'm dude, kicking you out of the house. Manute bull hands, bro.